I mean, one, one of the interesting things for me, um, and, and I want to get to to your search and how that search began. But uh, one of the things is even our terminology, um, mixed race, has always been very, very interesting to me. I believe the average. So uh, there's a point towards the end where Alice goes and you know, spoiler alert, uh, does. <laughs> you spoil away. <laughs> right, spoil away. You know, she does. You know, uh, basically, you know, these DNA tests. Yes. Um, so I, I did the same thing. Uh, you did. I did, and it like you know different things come back from different places. You know, one was like you know he's and see how, when you're black, how much you're white is what matters, right? Like that's <laughs> you know, and, and we are in this post-black power era where it's like as little as possible as I can get. <laughs> so one came back 15, the other came back 25. I go with 15. Um, <laughs> But, I mean, you, you think about that, and it's like, I mean, if I'm being serious, I mean, you're talking about, like, m my grandmother or my mother's yes. grandmother. And this is basically true of the African-American population in this country. They are a Creole mixed race population, and we've always known that because we had to go to family reunions, and it was pretty obvious right. to us. And yet we draw these lines as though there's a, there's a, you know, a pure black, a pure white, a pure... Well, I think for blackness, and you can speak to this more than I can, there is no sense of... We don't allow a nuanced picture of black life and black blood in America. Right. right? We, we, Barack Obama is a mixed race person. Right. But for all intents and purposes, he's our first black president. Right. We never talked about the fact that he's half white. Right. We never acknowledge that he has mixed heritage in the same way that we don't, I mean, black people are either black or they're not black, but right. they're never, right. we never conceive of black people as in fact mixed race right. Americans. Well, can I, I, I just want to push you on a little bit of this though, just a, and I promise we're going to get to your search. This is, the, I mean, it's We can talk about Dean. I'm happy to talk about <laughs> No, 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 I, 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 that's, this part is like really interesting to me. Um, if there is no pure, black in America, how do we refer to something as mixed race if the thing that we're saying was mixed in is in fact mixed? Wait, what? <laughs> so, if you have a black parent, white parent in this country, yes. right, biracial, I'm a mixed race, right? Right. But if your black parent was never pure if to begin with. If you're already mixed to yes, begin with. Yes, if they're mixed. Then you're like double mixed. I don't know. I mean, yeah. I think that there's a huge question. Like, in Brazil, they've like. That's exactly right. Right? It's right. like, right. it's so bucketed as to be, I mean, there's, you can overcorrect right. for this, right? right? And we get back to this idea of, is it better for us to have an intensely detailed classification mm -hmm. system for race? Mm -hmm. Or is mm -hmm. it better to just be like, we're brown? Right. Because right. where I got to in the book was the sense that like, and I talked to a lot of evolutionary genealogists, and the whole thing with ancestry testing is it divides us up into these mm -hmm. fra fractional racial percentages, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is an, like, with our history of like racial percentages in America, mm -hmm. that makes me uneasy to begin with. Mm -hmm. But it also makes me uneasy as I talk to these biologists and evolutionary specialists. They said, you know, the things, we are so alike. First of all, the idea, the ancestry tests reaffirm the idea that race is somehow rooted in science. Mm -hmm. And that's really problematic. Mm -hmm. And it reinforces the fact that we are racially different from one another, mm -hmm. when in fact, we're really similar. And if you look at Homo homo sapiens, mm -hmm. like our destiny is to further mix. Mm -hmm. And through globalization and love and romance and everybody having sex with each other, like that is actually the destination of our species. Mm -hmm. That's not to say that we should gloss over the real profound chasms that separate races in America today mm -hmm. and acknowledge those and also our troubled racial history. But there is a truth to the fact that like, you may want to build border walls and mm -hmm. insulate yourself and your bloodline from change and mm -hmm. mixing. Mm -hmm. There's no insurance policy you can take out against that. Mm -hmm. We are destined for change. Mm -hmm. We are destined to be brown. Mm -hmm. Mixed, 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 mixed. So the future face thing is real. Yeah, I mean, we're not going to be alive for it. <laughs> right, but like, it, it, I mean, as a species, that is, in fact, where we're going. We Americans aren't going to be Americans for the rest of our lives. Look at your son's daughter's son's son's daughter's, you know, right. genetic map and, you know, whatever, how many years that is. Right. And it's going to light up a completely different part of the world. Right, right.